Would you like a vampire facial? Yes, aka the bloody facial, aka skin serum, blood serum, PRP, plant-rich plasma. There is so many names. I am going to break this down for you and clarify all of this for you right now. First of all, I want to clear up all of this name confusion. So what I'm talking about is a micro needle facial that you would receive at a dermatologist, plastic surgeon, med spa. Now what they use is a micro needle device and that is the basis for the micro needle facial. From there, you add on other treatments like PRP, platelet rich blood and we'll talk about that and we'll talk about the differences and what that is but basically we are talking about medical grade micro needle facials hi there i'm elena mitchell and i am a licensed medical esthetician and i have helped over 1 million women improve their skin not to mention i have also opened and managed medical spas so i'm super excited to talk to you about this subject and give you all the information you have a lot of options in doing a microneedle facial. Now again, the microneedling, that is the basis. You're going to receive that treatment. Next, you can kind of figure out your add-ons. So you don't have to do PRP, which is platelet-rich plasma. You don't have to extract your blood and get it spent and injected back into your skin. You could just do a simple topical serum or you could also have something infused into your skin that's super beneficiary as well. So you can do microneedling all by itself, microneedling with a serum, a topical serum, excellent. That's probably what they're gonna do any place 99% of the time. You could do microneedling with PRP, excellent. That's the extraction of the blood. You could do microneedling PRP plus a boost. There's your four options. I'm not just going to talk about this subject, I'm also going to share with you my experience. That's right, I have had a micro needle facial with PRP and I've had a micro needle facial with PRP and a boost. Why did I do that? I did that for my melasma, I did it for research, I wanted to see the results for myself. I'm not just going to talk about this, I'm also going to share my experience. That's right, I have had the microneedling facial treatment with PRP and I've also had a treatment with PRP and with the skin boost and I want to share with you what I found. I thought that my skin overall had definitely improved. It looked more youthful, it looked younger. I have this scar here from Chicken Box and she really went over that area and it has decreased that scar dramatically and that's after only two treatments. Also, I really like the texture of my skin. Now, as far as my melasma, so that was my main goals. I really wanted to see how well it targeted my melasma. Now, that was okay. So I'm a little disappointed I didn't get as much results, but I wanted to see. So there was a slight reduction, but not as much as I hoped, maybe about 25%. So I'm pausing, I might go back in the winter and just see if we can focus on that area. But overall, I felt like it really gave me a great improvement in my skin and youthful and glowing, and I still feel like I'm seeing really good results. Secret tip, they are researching and looking to see what the microneedling with PRP does for hair growth. So the PA who I'm friends with, she said, hey babe, do you want more brows? And I said, yeah, I want more brows. And so she did the treatment on and over my eyebrows and that I definitely saw an increase of hair. My brows are fuller, I have a lot more hair. I'm like, oh my gosh, this is great because I'm a child of the 80s and I completely over tweezed my eyebrows in the 90s. So thank you microneedling and PRP for giving me thicker eyebrows. Now I wanna talk about what does it do? So you're going to see as far as the anti-aging youthful category, a nice glow on your skin, hence the name, the glow facial. Overall, the texture of your skin will be improved. It will look more youthful, decrease pore size. 
you'll also see a nice plumping overall in your skin. So you're not just gonna have one localized area, which a lot of people find to have plumpness if they do an injection. So that's not gonna happen. All over, you're going to have that plumpness, that youthful elastin, it's gonna really build that up in your skin. Then if you have scars, say from acne or chicken pox or what have you, that will help to reduce those scars. Again, helping to even out that complexion. Now, pigmentation, melasma, from my experience, I did see a decrease in that. And also, it can help if you've got pigmentation issues from other things like a scar or from sunspots. So that is what it does. The actual treatment only takes about 45 minutes to one hour. However, I suggest coming 30 minutes before your appointment and having the topical numbing cream applied. Don't do it yourself because usually people apply way too much and then you find parts of your body are numb that you don't want numb. So let them apply the numbing cream. You wait about 30 minutes and it's gonna help minimize any discomfort. And then you're gonna check out. So the whole time I would allot two hours for the appointment. Bonus tip, if you want to receive this treatment and you're feeling a bit nervous, bring with you a small device. They have these on the market and they're fabulous for helping to reduce nerves and to help calm the body. We did this with my son who has autism and it helps to calm the nervous system. So there's little handheld devices that vibrate, sometimes they're massagers and different things like that, but that's a tool. And the point is you wanna hold it on your chest during the treatment and the vibration will not affect anything going on here, but it will for you internally help to calm your nerves. I use that when I go to the dentist, If I even if I have a cleaning treatment, anything that I might feel a little anxious about, that's what I use and I highly recommend you bring one or ask for one because they usually have one in the office. Is this scientifically proven? The answer is yes, it has been scientifically proven to give you results just like I talked about, but be sure, like I said, do a few treatments to get the results that you want. Is PRP safe? And my answer to that is yes, as long as you are going to an appropriate place that is a medical grade med spa, dermatologist's office, or plastic surgeon. However, with any kind of treatment, there is always some risk. So that's why I always encourage you to vet the place that you're going to, check the reviews, and ask a lot of questions. Don't be afraid to ask for a complimentary consultation to help you with all of your questions. Now you might be asking, how long does it take to see results? And from my experience and everything I've researched, it takes about two weeks to a month to see the full effect of the results. Who can have the microneedling and PRP treatment? First, please ask your doctor always before getting any type of medical treatment. However, I do wanna say if you have hep C, HIV, AIDS, any type of blood cancer or skin disorder, blood disorder, then you definitely want to check with your doctor because you're most likely not a candidate. How long do the results last? Now from my experience, it has been six months and I still see results. Now they say you have results up into 18 months. So I really hope that's true and I can come back and give you an update and say for sure that it lasts 18 months. How much does it cost? Well, that can range from $400 to $1,500, depending on the location you're at in the United States, and also depending on how much of the extras you're going to add on. Say you want your face, neck, and decollete, well, that's gonna be more. But at minimum, anywhere in the US, just for the face treatment, I would say it will be $400. Who is PRP and microneedle facials right for? Now, if you're 30 and above and you want to get a nice youthful glow, help with this aging process so you can return and feel like yourself again, then yes, this is right for you. Now, if you're under 30 and you have scars and maybe you're not so concerned with aging, but you just want overall improvement in your skin, then yes, this would be something you'd wanna look into as well. Does medical grade microneedling facials replace injectables? No, they don't. You still will have to have Botox or injectables like Restylane 
if you want to have lifted skin. So I've heard people say, do this instead of Botox. Doesn't exactly work like that. You can do this as an alternative, but it's not meant to be a replacement for any type of injectables. I want to talk to you about the difference between an at-home microneedle treatment and a medical grade microneedle facial in a medical office. These two are not the same because the treatment that you receive in a medical office, it is a large device with a wand and it's more of a stamping motion. This device costs thousands and thousands of dollars. It is mechanically precisioned just so as it pierces your skin. Now this at home, you can use, but it is not the same. It rolls and it tears. So I am not a fan of these and I would rather you use something like the micro dissolvable roller at home, which is, does not have metal needles, or go to a medical office to have a medical grade needle facial treatment. I'm asked, are there any negative side effects? And yes, there are some that can occur. From my experience, I did have redness, totally normal. And also I kind of felt like I had a sunburn for about six to 12 hours. So personally, if I was to do this treatment, I would like to do it in the afternoon and evening. That way I could go home and rest, go to sleep, and I wouldn't feel any of that sunburn feeling. There can be some swelling and some bruising, but all that really does go away in a couple days if you were to incur that. I wanna share with you what it feels like. So like I said, numbing cream, I love it. It feels as you would think. There's little needles going really fast into and on your skin. So it, there's a slight discomfort. However, I think it's completely tolerable. I am a huge wuss. I don't like pain and I can handle it. So it's nothing that's gonna leave you gripping the seat or crying or screaming. It's just some slight discomfort. Thank you so much for watching my video. I hope I answered all of your questions. Now, if you're not quite ready to get a treatment like that and you want to start slow and easy, safe, then check out my micro dissolvable roller. This is great because you negate any of those crazy side effects that you would get if you were using one of these. There's no metal needles. So no bleeding, no tearing. I love my micro dissolvable roller. It is great for at home, like I said. And if you have more questions, please leave a comment or reach out to me by my website, or you can give me a call, Instagram, Facebook, what have you. Thank you so much for watching.